Now let's turn to a major development in the global space race. Russia is planning to place a power plant on the moon within the next decade. Russia's state space agency, Roscosmos, says it intends to build a lunar facility by 2036 to support its long-term moon missions and a joint research station with China. The project is being developed with the Lavochkin Association. Now, that's a major Russian aerospace company. And while Roscosmos has not explicitly used the word nuclear, the participation of Russia's state nuclear corporation, Rosatom, and the Kurchatov Institute, the country's leading nuclear research body, strongly points to a nuclear-based power system. Well, the proposed plant would be expected to supply continuous energy to lunar rovers, scientific observatories and core infrastructure for a Russian-Chinese international lunar research station. Reports suggest that nuclear power would allow operations to continue during the moon's long, dark nights, a major limitation for solar energy. Roscosmos said the project marks a shift from short one-time missions to a permanently functioned scientific presence on the moon. According to the agency, this is a first step towards sustained lunar exploration. Russia's space ambitions, however, have faced setbacks in recent years. In August 2023, the unmanned Lunar 25 spacecraft crashed during a landing attempt, dealing a serious blow to Moscow's lunar program. Well, Russia has long taken pride in its space legacy, dating back to its Sputnik satellite in 1957, and then in 1961, when Yuri Gagarin became the first human to travel into space. And now Moscow is trying to reassert itself as the US and China push ahead with ambitious moon programs. Meanwhile, the US also plans to deploy a nuclear reactor on the moon by 2030. NASA has said that uh, such a system is essential for maintaining a sustainable human presence and supporting future missions to Mars. <laughs> U.S. officials have openly described the current push as a race for long-term lunar control. International law currently prohibits nuclear weapons in space, but does allow nuclear energy systems under specific safety rules. Well, this has opened the door for power plants beyond Earth. The moon is also an attractive choice for its resources. Scientists believe it may hold vast quantities of helium-3, that's a rare isotope, on Earth, as well as rare earth metals used in advanced technology. With this move, Russia is signaling that the next phase of space exploration is no longer just about symbolic firsts, but more about a permanent presence, strategic resources, and power beyond Earth. First post now available in nine languages on YouTube. English. French. Le FMI. German. Hindi. Indonesian. Italian. Japanese. Portuguese. Spanish. Go to settings. Click on audio track and select the language of your choice. Be the first to know what's happening around you in your first language. First post. Want the facts? The latest developments. News that gets straight to the point. Well, we've got all three just for you. This is First Post Live, a brand new show. Your window into what really matters. Don't miss it.